There are times where I think I've done a video before because the tool is so integral to my setup. That's the case with today's video, Z Oxide. Now, Z Oxide is a smarter CD command that allows you to quickly move around your system using a nice little shortcut. Not only can you quickly jump to something that fuzzy matches your search, but you can even use interactive mode with a special eye character that allows you to search live through your system to find an exact match. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Okay, so let's jump ahead and get started first of all with the installation of Zoxide. Now there's just a few steps you need to know and if you scroll down this way, you'll see that it gives it to you one after the other. There's also a really nice tutorial if you happen to use Warp. It will open up this uh, walkthrough that gives you these documents that you can copy and paste from and install all the steps as needed. But I'll just use this since that's what we've got here and that way everybody can use it even if you don't use Warp. All right, so over here I'm going to grab Mac OS and I need to install Zoxide and I'll also need to install something called FZF or Fuzzy Find. So let's come back over here and I'm going to brew install Zoxide and FZF. Now I've already got these installed so it should look and say they're good. Since I'm already running the latest, I'll be set to go. So back over here, we've done the first thing. We've actually done one later as well. But the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and install this on my shell. So because I'm using ZSH, I'm gonna add this to my .zshrc file. Whatever shell you're using, then you'll just wanna use your configuration file for that. So let's come and grab this right here. And I'm gonna jump over here to my shell and I'm just gonna drop it in right here where I've got Zoxide kind of placeholder for me already. All right, step three, surprise, we already did that, so we don't need to do anything more there. And then if you happen to be using something like AutoJump or Z, which are kind of similar tools here, you can actually import all your data. Because remember, you've got this historical record of everything that you've been CDing into. So now you can actually just grab that and drop it directly into Zoxide. Now there are some configuration flags I wanna show you in a second, but for right now, let's go ahead and just use this. Now whenever you update your .zshrc file, you'll want to make sure you run source on this or restart your terminal kind of depending on what you've done. But let's say I now want to move somewhere else in my directory. So I could come into developer like this, but this doesn't actually trigger Z oxide. So let's jump back out. And now what I want to do is use Z instead of the CD command. So developer like that. And now it will actually map that to Z oxide's memory. Now I've got some other things in here as well. So I'll go Z and personal and it'll jump into my personal folder. I can go back out, so I'll do that as well. There are of course shortcut commands like this, which jumps you back and forth, but I'll let you check out the documentation if you wanna figure out some shortcuts, but essentially just use Z instead of CD. Now, once I've done that a lot, Zoxide tracks all of that so that I can quickly jump between things. Now, you can use Z and just quickly jump wherever you want. So let's say I came into my coding and public site, and now I wanna jump all the way back out to developer. If I just use Z and developer like this, it'll jump all the way back up because it recognizes that's very close. And I don't have to name it the exact same thing. So maybe I say like personal and I just do purse like that. And it notices out of all the directories I've changed to, this one matches the best. Now using FCF allows you to do one extra cool thing. So let's say I now do ZI, this will invoke FCF and allow me to pick through a list that I can actually kind of hot sort as well by typing. So watch, I can just go CIP and notice it gives me a list of anything that might match. So here I've actually got a top level folder or in the developer folder, I can switch to that as well. So if I came all the way over here, this is the folder I use to develop things for this channel. Now if I do ZI next, I've got several things right here. So here I've got a couple different folders that happen to be named almost the same thing. That doesn't seem very wise. I've got several examples of things I built for work. And all of these happen to have that single string of next. Now notice, let's say I wanted to look at the playwright option. If I just start to type here, it's going to actually show you that that string matches something in this particular directory. So the combination of FCF and Zoxide is super helpful. I do wanna show you just one more configuration option. If I jump back over this way, what we can actually do is change something here by adding a command flag like this. In fact, if I jump back over to the documentation, you'll see that that's exactly what they're showing you here. So the command with whatever you use here will replace Z with whatever you give it. So let's use J just for the example here. We're gonna do J. So we'll go ahead and save that. I'm gonna jump back over this way. We're gonna kill this and say source.zshrc. So now this should have refreshed that file. And instead of using ZI, I'm going to use JI. And then I'll simply type next. Now, once again, you'll see it invokes that, but now using my custom command. 
Now, personally, the only thing I would probably change this to is to use the CD command so that you don't have to remap your muscle memory. I'll come back over here. Once again, we'll just source, or I could go CDI and do something like CIP, and it will then show me all the things that match. I trust you can see just how helpful Z oxide is. Use the Z command just to quickly jump and the ZI command to enter that interactive mode. Well, there are a couple of other things you can do as well, like seeing all your past history and kind of how it ranks all that. Check out the documentation for that. But I hope this is a big help to you. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.